only thing that there's just so the belief that uh, God was uh, laying out the path for her I said she's going to go back now that I have some direction it sure would be nice to be back home where there's love and affection Renee and I were talking about a variety of things and she had gotten involved with aphasia and some of the programs and she told me all about it which is very heart rendering but she also shared with me the fact that she had a stroke a number of years ago and she truly experienced the impact of aphasia and we've had some very important conversations over that subject and then one day she told me you know what Dom I am so committed to aphasia and my experiences were so significant in not being able to communicate the way I wanted to to friends and family that I'm going to have a run a telethon. I'm going to produce a telethon. Did anyone ever feel shattered and have everything all over the place and you didn't know how you're going to pick it up and when you have a stroke you don't know how Aphasia. to pick it up. A disorder that affects the language centers of the brain caused by a stroke, caused by head in injury, a tumor, an infection, or dementia that allows people to have difficulty in speaking and writing and communicating in general. And quite frankly, I knew very little about aphasia Renee's inborn desire to be a part and support okay, has made a brotherhood of men and she has spearheaded this fundraiser as Tom said. If we are here is because a universal power is guiding us towards a purpose helping members of aphasia, which is, and I quote again, a language disorder caused by an injury to the brain and affects a person's ability to communicate, to communicate. And what a better way to do it than through music which has no boundaries and speaks the language of a right -hand God. Turn on 2nd Avenue in Wanakue because there's construction on Ringwood Avenue and I wanted to get around the construction. So when I made that right hand turn, who was standing on the sidewalk on 2nd Avenue but Renee on her phone. So I stopped to make sure she was okay and to ask her how the telethon was going. And we talked about it, and as usual, she was very enthusiastic, enthusiastic, very excited. And she said, oh, by the way, um, I'd like you to say a few words tonight, okay? So I said, well, let me think about that, since I'm just being told about it. So I said, I'll, I, I probably will, but I, I'll get back to you a little later. And as we were parting, she said to me, you know why you made that right-hand turn on 2nd Avenue? I said, the traffic, I mean, what else? She said no in her normal spiritual way. She said, God made you make that turn. <laughs> Which is true, probably, when you think about Renee and how spiritual she is. So I believe that's Suddenly true. Suddenly my world's gonna change its face, but I still know where I'm going. I have had my mind spun around Space, yet I've watched it growing. So if you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know that we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we try to stay or should we run away? Would be better just to let things be. Thank you, Renee.
Good evening. <laughs> when uh, uh, Renee uh, told me to uh, uh, have a speech uh, prepared, um, I said, oh, okay. I looked at the, uh, uh, the uh, 732, uh, 8, uh, 15, and uh, the ones, uh, the word, uh, one, the uh, first uh, name was Rene, and uh, the third uh, name was me. But uh, in the uh, the second name for, uh, was uh, speaker and uh, singer. I I pre prepared for that. I'm, uh, I want to uh, speak to you on uh, um, a wonderful, wonderful human being that has, thank you, that has throughout her life done the very, very best to support all the people, all the people, to give them the love that they all deserve because she thrives in giving, in being compassionate. This is her life. This is who her name with a dream. is. But that doesn't stop us. But you know, when we call uh, Caesar's palace or uh, Harrah's, they're like, <coughs> who are you? You know, like, we're not like a big name. So, um, but we are gonna have a telethon. But you know, sometimes you have to go, well, that's not gonna work. Let's switch gears and let's do it here. So my, so we've begun to contact the Oprah Winfrey Show, right? She's got a ch new channel. Jerry Lewis is not doing his telethon anymore. It's the right time to do a telethon on the Oprah's channel. Her ratings are not the best right now, and it takes many years to get a, a, a channel in gear. So it's not about her not doing her thing. It just takes time for people to, she had to dedicate her energy to a regular show, but now she's refocusing it. So it's a perfect time. So I've even emailed and called Gail King, her friend, to let her know. So we are gonna be in contact. And let me share a little, another little story. Bill, when I was on the phone with him today, told me that the Adler's aphasia center is already in contact with Oprah Winfrey. So all the pieces are coming together. So we are now, gonna make this happen. What I have written is, it is always a privilege to be present and involved in an event where all come together for the enrichment of humanity. But I also believed that with her passion, her commitment, her energy, her drive, and the belief that uh, God was uh, laying out the path for her. I said, she's gonna do it. And guess what, we're here. We're all here. Thank you, Dom. We don't need another meadow. There are oceans and rivers enough to climb. There are oceans and rivers enough to cross, enough to last. Love the one you 